Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. If you're new to PUBG and you're getting killed all the time or you just want to move up the rankings a little bit quicker than the others or you just play your favorite game and can't coordinate the fingers on the screen because they occupy half of the space, I've got the perfect solution for you and it comes from Bebonku, the new Saiteke game controller for iOS as well as Android, guys. I'm doing a review and a giveaway today of this particular device. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you can check it out and see how you can actually win this particular controller. I'm going to ship it for free worldwide. No worries about that. So what this controller does is it accumulates your phone no matter how big it is. The opening over here is 16.5 centimeters. Uh, you can put your uh, phone in it no matter how big it is. Is it the OnePlus 7 Pro? Is it the Galaxy Note 10 Plus? No problems whatsoever. At the moment I've got the Huawei P Smart Z and it fits perfectly fine over here guys. So the question is what does make this controller different than let's say the PlayStation 4 controller over here which you can use for playing games and a brilliant controllers like the Xiaomi Mi Bluetooth controller over here and the answer is very simple you can map every single button of this controller to every single game available out there not only on Android but on iOS as well and most importantly you can do this without any root privileges on Android and without jailbreaking your iPad or your iPhone which is absolutely great the ability to map these buttons out of the box with just a simple application. So let me show you what this controller is all about and what the application does and how to map your buttons. Okay guys, so this is the box, nice and simple. Inside you've got the micro USB charging cable. Because the device has a built-in battery, you can recharge it with the cable for one and a half hours, which is going to give you 12 hours of playtime. And what else is in the box is this nice and powerful instruction manual, which is in Chinese as well as in English, guys. And pretty much that is a simple instruction of how to download this shooting plus v3 application in the play store it's official application so no any signs of malware or anything like that over here you just press open you granted permission to draw over other applications and all you gotta do pretty much is go to your bluetooth settings over here search for devices this device name is stk 7007 f1 just press connect after that go back to the application if for whatever reason the connection fails just go to the settings and make sure you press input device and you press this one on and after that when you go back to the application itself there you go stk 7117 f1 controller now these are some presets of the game so what you do is you click on the game and you pre press download preset which is going to download a ready made map to the buttons of this particular game guys so all you gotta do is just start the game and start playing but in any case if you want to you know do some changes of the mapping you can do like that we have to enable this displaying the floating bar key over here which is well floating you can adjust it whatever you like and now let's just quickly jump back to PUBG and although as you can see the controls are already working fine over here you can do some fine tuning by pressing this button over here and let me show you show you what this thing does um, right so you press the button over here and you for example let's say you want to tweak the sensitivity of this button you press it one time and it goes back to the middle over here you hold on it you press it where you want it to be. After that, you press on the button itself and change the sensitivity. I like to play with the slowest sensitivity over here. So in my, in my particular case, this is the best thing for me. And for example, you want to tweak the B button to do well, whatever. It goes to the middle, you hold on it and you press it to go over here like that. And pretty much that's it. You say select, you say OK. And now you have a totally you know customized experience to your 
particular liking over here guys and uh, if you're good enough like me you can get some chicken dinners and even do some great kills i have a separate video done on that uh, about the kills that i managed to achieve in pubg with this particular controller playing on the samsung galaxy a20e this is a super low-end device which costs just 100 pounds guys so even though you can feel some luck with the samsung galaxy you can still do some decent killings thanks to this particular controller let me show you how it works on ios and what you can do over there without jailbreak once again this is without any root without any jailbreak guys let me show you what i've done okay so on the ipad this situation is similar you go to the bluetooth settings you press connect to the controller you press pair and pretty much that's it the light is constant so now you have to go back to the application and see that it is already connected guys now in order to map the buttons over here the procedure is very similar you already got the list of the supported games which has presets out of the box which you can download for example the same as android but if you want to play for example asphalt this game is not supported with the default settings so all you gotta do is press press this floating bar over here and load up a screenshot to your game and from here on you can map pretty much every single button that's a screenshot of the game you map them as you wish and pretty much you hit save after that and later on when you open up the game check this out guys asphalt 9 of course i mean <laughs> the, the controller is not big enough so it can accumulate the 9.7 inch ipad but let me show you what's the deal over here okay guys so asphalt 9 is started now i have mapped some of the buttons not all of them because in this particular case i prefer to play it on the screen but if you're playing a specific game you can map all the buttons to your liking and check this out guys i can use the arrows over here to navigate the car i can use the a button to use the nitros or whatever mapping you prefer you can do that on ios and the most ridiculous thing is that no matter which controller you use you have to be jailbroken but not with this one because the application is free it's in the app store you can download it for free map your buttons and officially not ruin your warranty using this particular device now when it comes down to the build quality of the device itself guys you can tell that it's not the best in the world there's a you know relatively cheap plastic over here but at least it's extendable quite a bit these bits are made of metal over here which i prefer and to be honest with you if you're not very good uh, at games and if you uh, you know throw your controller and get angry on a regular basis this hard plastic over here is definitely going to withstand your um you know depressed moments and uh, the thing is that the only rubber thing is this rockers over here they feel quite solid and then not gonna go away anytime soon so pretty much everything else is plastic the trigger buttons over here are really nice to press as well and overall it's a very lightweight device now the price is 45 bucks i'll see if i can get you some uh, you know discount codes which i'm going to link in the description down below but don't forget to participate in my giveaway which i think is gonna run for about two to three weeks I I'll see and i'm gonna pick up the winner live on my youtube channel so that yeah that's pretty much it guys this particular joystick is uh, you know working as intended the battery life is 12 hours it's compatible with ios and android so pretty much if you need the controller this is the way to go i like it and it gets the job done especially with pubg especially with the android phones where all of your you know fingers are all over the screen this does miracles so yeah thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one